Hello everybody, this is Raymond from RK Studios, and today I will be showing you my LEGO Candy Machine version 4, and I built this for Christmas during Christmas time, I, I don't remember if I built it, I think I might have built it during the summer. I, I really don't know, I built it on a weekend, I do know that. Either way, um, since, you know, I'm just... Merry Christmas in April, so, you know, but... Let's get into the actual workings of this wonderful, festive, colored device. Okay, so for this machine, uh, or this, can you, yeah, so for this video, I'm actually trying something new with my tripod. I lowered it, so, you know, you should be able to, to actually see inside the machine and see the workings a lot better. Okay, so, let me give you a 360 view. So, obviously, this is the side where you have the lever and the candy comes out. Uh, display window right here. It's hard to see inside, but there are there are candies in that. Uh, the back with a, huh, a currently unlocked bank. I'll have to lock that. And, and then the side with the coins. So, before I do anything else, let me lock the bank. Because that would be really dumb of me to do a review of this candy machine, or, or to show this candy machine and then have someone rob it during the video taking process. I know it's a tight time in our economy, so give me one sec. Okay, the bank is now securely securely fastened. See, even if I... It's just locked. Okay, let's get back to the front. So the bar goes in and out, as usual, you know. New candy! So, we can place in a penny, but guess what? It comes out the front. Here, watch again. See right there. Uh, dimes? Don't work either. Quarters? Uh, I mean, they can fit. But once you get them in, they're just going to stick. They're not even going to fall into the mechanism. I mean, here, look at this. I mean, as you can see, they can fit. But, I mean, that's not going anywhere. That's Once you stick it in, that's stuck. So, wouldn't recommend trying quarters on this one. But what does work is a nickel. Take a nickel. And here, I'll show you. A beautiful process of putting it in the coin slot. And then, all I have to do is push in the lever and pull. Think anything happened? Actually, it did. Uh, yeah, you get a candy. It doesn't roll out because of the way it's built. Inside, it's just a flat platform. So, it a lot of times doesn't roll out. But, you know, I do my best. So let me do that again. Nickel in. Push. Pull. Oh, look at that. It rolled up. And I'm honestly going to do this one more time, but I'm not going to bore you. This has, like, five rounds or something. I will tell you the exact specifications when we looked at the mechanism. But, so yeah, those are some three rounds. Now let's get to reloading. Uh, if you want to reload this bad boy, all you have to do is pop the top. The the top is basically a thick, just kind of lid, and then the inside is, is pretty sweet. So let me adjust this so you can see the top easily. Okay, now that you got Hawk Vision, you should be able to see this easily. Uh, basically, you have a, a spot for a little piece of panel. I'll show you what that's for in a sec. Then you have this extra space kind of around the coin slot, and then you have this space. This is big enough to hold enough coins uh, to get out all the rounds in the machine and then add a penny, nickel, and a dime. I mean, a penny, dime, and quarter to, to basically demonstrate. So you can kind of take it and travel around. So to reload, all you do is you just go one, two, three. Now how many rounds exactly are in this? Well, I'm going to find that out. Okay, so I'm looking at it, and it seems to be five. So, five rounds. Um, but how do I get the money out? That's what most people want to know. 
Well, I will show you. If you actually look at the lid, up close and personal, you'll see that it's made out of many different sections. And if you take this little piece of panel and you put it on the right little section and you pull, you will find a key. And then that key can then be used right here to unlock the bank. You get money out. And I'm sure you guys are all dying to see the mechanism, so let me get to that. Here we go. Okay, so usually it's a little bit more take apart friendly, but as you can see here, it doesn't like to be taken apart for this one because of its construction. But, you know. So, the way it works is there are pieces on this arm which prevent it from moving. Or, this, this, uh, this is what has the candy, and then the other piece, what's with the coins. So basically, this arm moves back and forth. This is like the, all the other ones. Um, it's the same type of mechanism, but it's, you know, different, different system. Uh, you have basically a candy sitting right here. Uh, half and half on the edge and not. So, when you do put in an actual coin, it falls down, only takes one, and then it takes it back where it has ramps that will cause it to sometimes or sometimes not roll out. And then the coin rejection is the same type of thing as my V3. Uh, it, it just, it's just literally not big enough. It uses a little, little ramp down there to do that. So, you, the side insert, obviously, you just have the coin go sideways down the chute and fall in. I went with the side insert for a couple reasons. I was originally trying a different mechanism, which would use the side insert. And also, it saves space. I didn't have to build it as high uh, because of this, which I kind of did anyway, but I wouldn't have to because a side insert allows the coin to lay sideways, which is one Lego, uh, one third of a brick, where if you have it standing up, a nickel is usually about, I don't know, two, three, uh, it's about two and uh, a third of bricks high. So you have to build it higher just because of the coin slot. So, you know, it's a pretty simple mechanism, uh, but I think this is the most deluxe I probably have because it has a locking bank and uh, coin injection and secret storage and all that, all that good stuff. So, if you enjoyed that video or if you just want to give me some charity, you know, I, I take pity. I'll, I'll take your, your pity and whatever else you got. Got any spare change? Just throw it at the computer. Y you know, that's the way to go. Uh, but seriously, if you enjoyed that, click the like button. Really, UPS? Really? So if you enjoyed that video, click the like button and, you know, subscribe, leave a comment. You're probably already subscribed, though. But if you're not, check out my channel. Uh, I'm uploading a channel trailer soon. So, yeah. If you're still not convinced. Uh, uh what was I going to say? Oh. And I am going to do a Lego Room tour pretty soon. As you can see, it's giving you a sneak preview. But I'm not showing you a full picture quite yet. I will show you a, a tour of that. And I, I'm going to start uh, doing reviews. I have the, the Valentine's Day Bear uh, Lego set. The, the Bunny Lego set. Um, what else do I have? I have some Speedos sets from Lego Chima. I just bought them because they were on sale. I took most of them apart, but I got two. I got the Nest Dive and the, and the the one where you have have the little meter and it goes up and down. Probably you don't know what I'm talking about if you're not a huge fan of Lego. I also have the Lego Palace Cinema. So, yeah. I have some good sets, and I will do some reviews on that, too. So, in the meantime, check out some of my other videos. Uh, I'm... Some Zelda videos I uploaded. I'm... I'm really figuring out how to work Photoshop Elements 12, so it's it's pretty good. Adobe's a great software. Uh, no, I'm not getting paid, but once again, Adobe representatives, you can send me money if you want. 
I'm gonna monetize my videos, but you you have to have a bank account and you have to like link it and I just not linking my money. I like I like to to uh, to, uh, uh, to to use credit cards and I, no I don't. What am I talking about? I I don't know. Just you know I'm running out of things to say at the end of these videos. I really am. If you have any ideas for like an ending scene, let me know. If not, you're gonna have to suffer through the end. I might start putting annotations and, you know, click here to skip. You know, like, it might be like, right here. Click here to skip to the end of the of the video, or click here to get to the last second, or, or to end, I, I don't know. Um, I'm sorry if you're watching this on an iPod because you can't find annotations. Yeah, I should probably stop talking. So, hope you enjoyed LEGO Candy Machine V4, and definitely share this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and support my friend Zach on Game Washer. Uh, well, he's Game Washer on YouTube, and there's there's a link on my channel. So check out my channel, subscribe to my channel, check out Zach's channel, subscribe to his channel. Uh, you know, maybe you can channel all that energy. Sorry about that. Sorry. Really. And now's the point where I will do something really random. Hold up my hand and I will have some kind of object appear on my hand. And it's going to move around with my hand. And whatever this object is, I, I know that, that you'll be very interested in this object. You're becoming sleepy. You're be you're becoming so sleepy and awake. The object's still there, isn't it? Hold hold on one second. Okay. And disappear. Ooh. Ooh. Finally, it's off. Once again, if I screw up on editing, that's gonna look really bad. This is brand from Artist. <laughs> Try to look dramatic. I looked in my camera and I, I don't look dramatic. I look really retarded. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm politically incorrect. I don't know. I'm gonna stop talking. Goodbye.